former President Trump made a virtual appearance in a New York City courtroom for his second hearing in a criminal case. The hearing was related to the 34 felony count indictment issued by the Manhattan District Attorney, which accuses Trump of falsifying his company's business records. Judge Juan Merchant provided additional guidance on the sharing of evidence during the trial's discovery process. Trump pleaded not guilty to the charges. During the hearing, which lasted approximately 10 to 15 minutes, Judge Merchant asked Trump if he had received a copy of the protective order. Trump confirmed that he had, lifting up a copy of the order on camera. This was the only time he spoke during the hearing. Trump's attorney, Todd Blitz, sitting with him at Mar-a-Lago, opposed the issuance of the order, expressing concerns about potential First Amendment implications due to Trump's presidential campaign. Judge Merchant, mindful of Trump's presidential aspirations, emphasized that he only requested that Trump refrain from publicly disclosing any evidence against him until the trial begins. The judge clarified that this was not a gag order, allowing Trump to discuss the case itself while restricting the discussion of specific case materials. He also highlighted that violations of the order could result in sanctions, including contempt. Trump's legal team acknowledged the importance of adhering to the order, considering his previous experience with sanctions in a civil case in New York. Compared to the previous month's hearing, there were notable differences. Trump was not physically present, unlike before when extensive security measures were in place, including the presence of court officers and Secret Service agents. Interestingly, a court officer interviewed that morning was unaware of Trump's court hearing, highlighting the contrast in attention and security measures. Virtual appearances for defendants are typically reserved for cases where the defendant is hospitalized, making it an uncommon accommodation for a healthy individual. However, in this case, the virtual setup served as an accommodation for the court itself. In conclusion, Trump's virtual appearance in the New York City courtroom marked his second hearing in the criminal case. The judge provided guidance on evidence sharing, while Trump maintained his plea of not guilty. Differences from the previous hearing included the absence of Trump's physical presence and the utilization of virtual proceedings, 